Hi everyone. We've been learning about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Today, we're going to learn about fear of the Lord, or fear of God. Now, I want us to think about piety when we were learning about that. And we were talking about how important routine is and doing the things that we do all the time, doing them properly, doing them well, and thinking about them as we do them, not just doing them because we have to. Now, there's people that help us with routine, our teachers and our moms and dads. Yes, there's my mom and dad. I know that they love me and they were teaching me good habits and good routines and good practices. I knew that those were the right things to do. So I knew it was the right thing to try to do those things as well. And I know that if I didn't do those things, it would make me feel sad. And I know that my mom and dad would probably be disappointed. Although they would help me and remind me and bring me back on track. Now, when we think of God, God is our father. And because he's our father, he wants to be with us always. And we want to be his children. We want to feel his love. We want to be held in his hand and feel safe and happy. Now, fear of God, that gift from the Holy Spirit, it's not being scared of God. It's more like fear of being away from God, fear of being separated from God. Now, God doesn't want us to be separated from him or away from him. He wants us to be with him. Yes. Now, there's some things that we do that can make us feel like we are separating from him. And those are the things that we do when we make not such great choices. So our fear of being separated from God actually draws us closer to him, makes us want to do the right things so that we can feel closer to him. That is fear of the Lord, wanting to be with him and being scared to be away from him. I'm going to read from Paul's letter to the Philippians. It says, so then, dear friends, as you always obeyed me when I was with you, it is even more important that you obey me now I am away from you. Keep on working with fear and trembling to complete your salvation because God is always at work in you to make you willing and able to obey his purpose. So what Paul is saying is that God is in us. God is always with us, wanting us to do the right thing. So even though Jesus has gone back to heaven, we know that he is still with us. And it's even more important for us to keep on remembering that, reminding us that through all the gifts, uh, of the Holy Spirit, using them all to help us remember that. And the fear of being apart from God will remind us to keep doing all the things that Jesus taught us to do. And then in the Gospel of John, it just wraps that up in one sentence. It says, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. So simple. Let us pray. Dear Holy Spirit, thank you that you fill our hearts, that we want to be 
always close to God, always with him. Help us that we may always make the right choices so that we can be with God and not be separated from him. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Feeling the presence of God and drawing closer and closer to him always.